Uh, oh, the donkey. The donkey. You beat Biscuit Butt. Not that that was really a big chore considering Biscuit Butt scored 102 points. I mean, you could have had, you know what you should have wished for? I will tell you. You should have wished for Peyton Manning to have a crappy game, get his 27 points, and I think you still would have won. Yeah, you still would have won with his 27 points. Then you would have got his crappy game out of the way, and then you could win the whole thing probably. And then smack it all in my face. I know that's what you're waiting for. You're just waiting to win the championship to say, well, Corey, I guess you should have drafted Peyton Manning, huh? Well, one, I don't know. I think you drafted before me, so I wouldn't have had the chance to get him in the first place. Second, I still wouldn't have drafted Peyton Manning. So there. <laughs> um... Congratulations, though. You did win. You're moving on to the next round. Who are you going to play? You are going to play the Cardiac Kid. And the Cardiac Kid, you would have beat him this week, too, because I know the Cardiac Kid set his best lineup because he has a little side bet going with Big Red, and Big Red beat his little side bet. By 10 points or 11 points. So pay up, Alex. Anyway, Donkey, you'll play Cardiac Kids. The mob got pummeled by Minivan Madness. Now, Derek, you had a good game for your last game. You got 140 points. You would have beat the Donkey. How about that? You beat the Donkey this week. You didn't play him, but you would have beat him. <clears throat> so you got that to think about. Next year is another year. You know what you're doing now, so next year you'll do all right. All right? Just save up your 130 bucks and mail it to me. Uh, so Minivan Madness is moving on to play the Devils, where Hawkeyes somehow comes from behind Playing Rashad Jennings because you didn't know that he was out, I guess. Or he had nothing else. He could have played a whole one point out of Mark Ingram. Or seven points out of Bilal Powell. Or 15 points out of Trent Richardson. Holy cow, did Trent Richardson actually do something? Anyway, you played Rashad Jennings and somehow still pulled out a three-point win against Bad Influence. Too bad Ben bad influence played Matt Stafford. I mean, if I would have saw the weather, I might have changed it to Big Ben. But Big Ben played in almost the kind of same weather. Not as bad, but still not that great. But other than that, I don't think I would have changed anything on your lineup. I mean, Marquise Colston has been so wishy-washy. I would have stuck with those three receivers you started. Your line, your your whole your whole I wouldn't have changed anything on your roster, and it's so hard to say what Matt Stafford would or wouldn't have done. So you just had a bad week with Matt Stafford and that stupid snowstorm. That snowstorm screwed you. So blame the snow. That's what I say. Blame the snow. Because if you look at Hawkeye's team, he really didn't have anyone except Pierre Garcon playing that bad weather. He did it. I mean, his quarterback played in, uh, where did his quarterback play? Indoors or, I think it was in Arizona or was it in wherever they played? Either way, he didn't have the weather to deal with like you did. So, but you can't blame C.J. Spiller because how did, why did he suck so bad? Really? Right? I know. All right, moving on. The Bug Eaters. Annihilated pink taco pluggers. I mean, he ripped another taco in his plugger or whatever you want to call it. He just totally just tore him apart. Tore that plugger apart. 195. 
Wow. I hope you didn't shoot your wad there, Mr. Bug Eaters. The funny thing is, you didn't play your best lineup either. Oh. Not that you wouldn't. I mean, who would have played Marlon Brown instead of Cecil Shorts? Not that Cecil Shorts has been that good anyway. Josh Gordon still had a good week for you, though, Chris. It was the rest of your team that didn't help you out. That awesome Victor Cruz, he's been the worst, like... Because you got to think, what, Victor Cruz, probably preseason, was rated, I would say, top, at least top ten receiver at the time, right? If not top five, maybe. Yeah, he played probably like a, maybe in the 15 to 20th receiver range. What a horrible guy he was, right? Anyway... <clears throat> So, Bug Eaters, you're going to move on and play Big Red. We got a little family affair going on next week because I play you in the other league. So you got Michael in one and me in the other. Unfortunately, I don't like my chances in the other. So, anyway. Is that all? Did I go through everybody? We're good there. Let me... Uh, Go through the pickums real quick. Two weeks left in the pickums. Cardiac Kids lost a point to the donkey. The donkey got 14 picks right. Sick. I mean, Cardiac Kids and Bug Eaters got 13, and so did Bad Influence and Big Red, but 14 points. That's pretty impressive. But Cardiac Kids, you still got a three point lead with two weeks left. Can you hold on? Or will you choke that away too? I think you make, should make a little side bet with Big Red. That might be all I got for you guys. So, oh, and I play, oh, you know, I was, that's what I was going to mention. I, I was going to mention, let's see here. If I would have played my best lineup, who would I have played? Would I have played the Alex Smith versus the Redskins? Or... Josh McCown against the Cowboys. That's a tough call because I don't know if I would have played McCown because the way Alex Smith has been playing and it's in Washington. I might have stuck with Alex Smith, so I wouldn't have got that 58 points out of McCown. Receivers, I would have played Emmanuel Sanders, so I would have got 15 points there. I would have played Vernon Davis, so that's only 10. So you know what? Who would I have played? But I still would have won, Donkey, because I would have played Biscuit Butt and you would have been in the toilet bowl. So I still would have beat Biscuit Butt and moved on. That makes me mad. Man, that makes me mad. So I would have moved on to the next round. I can't even look at this anymore. Ah, I'm so for mad at myself. I don't even... Who would I have... Ah, I'm so mad at myself. All because I forgot to put in Emmanuel Sanders and not Richard, whatever his name is. Screw it. It's over. Once again, just like last year, I made a stupid mistake and I would have won the whole league. But a stupid mistake I made made me lose the whole, the first round. Oh my God, I'm done. See ya.